So one trivial thing that bothers me about the Bronco and a lot of other vehicles is you pay so much for these and then rather than getting hood struts, you get this little hood prop. Well, for like 20 or 30 bucks on Amazon, you can easily fix that. I'm going to show you how. So I'm going to walk you through step by step how to install these two hood struts. Now, aside from just being easy and convenient, this is also nice if you do intend on lifting a vehicle because if you're shorter like me, uh, as you lift it, it gets harder and harder to hold the hood open far enough to actually get that prop in there. So I'll walk you through step by step on how to install this. This is the hardware that comes with it. Like I said, this is just a kit off of Amazon. The instructions are there, but they aren't great. Uh, you will need a ratcheting wrench with a 13 millimeter socket and then either a 12 millimeter deep socket or just a 12 millimeter open end box wrench to get this installed. So from the front of the truck, we're going to start on the driver's side. The first bolt that we need to take out is going to be this one right here. So this is going to be your 13 millimeter socket. So then you can take this out the rest of the way by hand. And then the bracket that we're using on the driver's side, it's going to look like this. Obviously it just makes sense that this ball end would be sticking in towards the engine bay of the vehicle. So we're going to go ahead and put that back where we just took this bolt from and then reinstall it using the same factory hardware. So you can see back there that the new bracket that we put on is actually kind of at an angle. However, if you're looking at the instructions, they also show it at an angle there. Another part that I noticed is they included two washers in my kit. However, in the picture, there are no washers. And since the bolt that we just used to put it back has a washer on it, I did not use a washer uh, on this bracket here. Next, we're going to pre-assemble these two pieces here. So when it's threaded in, it looks just like this. To install this piece that we've pre-assembled, we're going to go in line from the two bolts that hold the hood on. There's the first hole and the second hole. This is the one that it's going to go in. So you can kind of do a little action just like this to put it in there. And then while pulling back on it to put some tension on, you can start to thread this in. And you can see that that piece moves in there. So if you didn't have any tension on it and just kept spinning, it's not going to tighten at all. So when you pull back on it, you're able to get some rotations on to actually tighten this up a little. And we'll have to get this as close as we can to tight and then come back with the socket and tighten it all the way. So that's pretty snug just by hand. We'll put the 12 millimeter deep well on here and tighten this down all the way. This should be tight, but I wouldn't over tighten it. That's probably pr plenty just like that. The skinny end of the rod then goes down by the engine bay and the larger side goes up onto the hood. So you get these on, simply push them and you'll hear that click and that's in place. And then you can take this piece and I'll have to prop the hood a little bit here, uh, which I can't do one handed. And then as you can see, that'll just clip into there. So that's what it looks like with everything installed. Like I said, you just do the same thing on the top. That just pushes right in there. And then that will uh, hold your hood up once we get the other side installed as well. If you made a mistake or you need to take these off for any reason, all you got to do is slide a screwdriver into this little notch part here and push this black metal retainer up. And then that'll allow you to pull it back off of there. So like in my case, I'm going to choose to put those washers uh, actually behind this one just so that there's more surface area for this. And now that the process has been completed on both sides, by repeating the same steps, you now can just pop your hood open and it stays open without having to uh, actually use the little prop shaft there. So there you go. Quick, easy. You don't have to work around that shaft or in the engine bay. And uh, it's just convenient. So super simple thing and easy modification for like 20 to 30 bucks.